welcome back into my youtube channel it's Celia Bosco here on my health and fitness lifestyle in today's video I want to share with you uh, my everyday squat challenge result if you have followed me on Instagram and Insta story you might be questioned a lot so if you've been wondering where is the video um, that you did you are those people then this video is for you keep watching and stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you the behind the story the reasons why I did that everyday squat challenge and the benefit for you and then the result in the end so Stay tuned. Actually, as you might know, if you follow me in the end of last year, on December, I decided to do 7 days vegan challenge and then after that challenge, I transitioned and now become a vegan. I stopped consuming animal products and go more into the plant-based product. And so I did some mistakes on that challenge. That's why now I want to share it here with you purely what did just happen on that challenge. So after I finished the challenge on the first at the beginning of January, I just realized that I did a mistake. I didn't consume proper protein my body needs. That's the first mistake. The second mistake, I consume too much sugar. So my body cannot absorb that really well. That it causes excess fat on my lower belly and also I lost some muscle on my glutes area it decreased I just realized that that's why I decided to um, get back that strength I want to gain more muscle and I want to repair that so I did this squat challenge to repair to gain back my muscle especially on the lower body on that glutes area apart from that I didn't say that being vegan or consuming too much sugar from the fruits is bad what I want to say here is that that fruits is still healthy if you consume that in moderation but my mistakes that time I didn't consume that in moderation I eat too much fruits guys I even eat that in the midnight when I feel so hungry I eat fruits before I go to bed what happened is that my body cannot absorb that yet then I already go to sleep so it causes excess fat on that area especially on my lower body and because I didn't also consume enough protein I lost muscle so much muscle and gain fat and I know now the reason why why? because I didn't consume enough protein my body needs. My body needs 100 grams of protein to maintain the muscle and on that challenge, if I really eat less than that, being a vegan protein source from the plant itself is not enough to cover your protein intake in your body. And now, as I already knew that, I can uh, manage it. That was basically the mistake that I did uh, and that's why I'm also now using my fitness PayPal. I already teach you how to use that uh, on the last video. Uh, if you want to check it you're more than welcome to check that part and so now i know how much protein that i consume this food contain how much protein how much protein left i need to consume am i consuming too much sugar or not now i know how to manage that instead of fat gain and muscle loss that i had another reason why i want to do this squat challenge is just to repair my relationship with squat i didn't really like squat i didn't really do that so much i mean i do that once in a while just one time every week or twice a month but i just don't really like that so I want to repair my relationship with the um, squat and also getting into the right form or how to do proper squat well that's the reason why I do this challenge now you know it already guys so yeah here it is the everyday squat challenge result before and after this is the video that I recorded from day one until day 31st I started the challenge on the 4th of January 2021 and finished it on the 4th of February 2021 so it's 31 days This challenge is actually not like the usual challenge that people usually do for 31 days that you need to do 100 squat every day. This challenge is actually more flexible so you don't really need to do 100 squat every day. You just need to do squat every day either with your body weight or with the weight lifting or no weight at all and any rep as you wish. You can just do that. 
is to increase your strength to increase the reps as much as you can based on your own energy level and also uh, increase the weight based on your own strength itself so yeah as long as you do that everywhere it doesn't have to be at the gym it can be done at home or anywhere you are just the squats every day just um, mark how much you do that in a day and tomorrow just do better better and better me i started this challenge i was only able to do 20 kilo of the weight and then when this challenge finished i'm able to hit uh, 60 kilograms of weight and i'm just really so proud of myself i can't imagine that i can lift heavier now and then i also can do more reps so yeah that's it first second and the third i didn't feel anything i mean i'm okay i, I knew myself i'm on a challenge so i just do that i just started at the gym started with the weight at the gym i started 20 kilos and then with some reps 10 reps and four sets and then I increase it day by day until the end of the challenge I am able to 60 kilograms of weight and I'm only not doing that at the gym I do it at the gym maybe five times per week four or five times per week and the rest I do that at home or when I go to the beach or whatever is that and on the first second third day I'm fine and today is the second day of uh, everyday squat challenge and I just finished the gym with look cutie <laughs> with cutie first week was okay but on the second week i was feeling so exhausted so tired so bored because you know you only do squat repeat that movement again and again and i kind of feel like really bored if you feel that it's really normal because everyone always on that position at some point you're not always motivated to do that it happened to me as well like oh my goodness i was feeling like when will this over i'm just so tired of this i feel like my legs uh, hurt a lot even when I'm squatting on the bathroom I feel like crap it is so hard Initially, I remember uh, on the middle of the challenge in January and the middle of the month I went for a hiking I hiked the second highest mountain in Bali And guys, I was also in the squat challenge. So can you imagine when you hike, your leg hurts a lot like when you did hiking and because during the hiking, I didn't wear proper shoes. So my foot literally hurt and then I still need to do that squat challenge. So can you imagine how my leg feel? I feel nothing. Like I literally can't even touch my leg. It just feels like a stone when you touch it. And I just feel like, oh my God, I don't want to do that. But because I'm someone that's very determined kind of person and consistent. So if I will say something, I always want to finish that it's not about the result or anything it's about the commitment yeah just to finish what you already start so i'm um, that very determined kind of person so i was still gonna continue finishing this even it hurts like that <laughs> so that was the most difficult challenge i faced um during this everyday squat challenge when i did the hiking and overall i feel my lower body hurts a lot a lot a lot because you do this every day you work on your lower body on your quadricep and you build that area that squat every single day without rest you know that our muscle need a rest day that's why i took some rest day or maybe that's why you do like lower and upper because you need to give some time into your muscle to recover and i didn't do that on the squat challenge since you do squats every day so you work on that muscle every single day and i think my muscle on this part already being so stressed because i work on that every single day and it feels so hurt a lot and then it's getting hard like when you touch it it's getting like really hard like a stone like getting firm and stuff and I really feel that day by day I didn't even feel like what's the result of this all I on my mind I just want to finish this I just wish this finish soon I just want to get over this and day 17 already so it's gonna be over soon I'm so excited that's all what on my mind and then the days just goes by and then it's 31 days already it's the 4th of February and then I finished the challenge here it is the result before and after I was really shocked seeing this result because I didn't even feel anything I didn't feel that my body changed or something when I woke up in the morning see myself in the mirror or even go to the gym and take a selfie I didn't like think there's any differences at all like okay, nothing happened all I know is that my legs first a lot I didn't see any changes and in my mind I say if there's no changes then it's okay as long as I stay consistent I do what I say I want to do and finish that so after the challenge finished I was so shocked that this is the result like wow I gained some muscle on my butt
my butt a lift again I took the same position, the same angle, the same panties even that I wear the same angle and I can really see here on this picture that I gained some inches of butt I didn't measure that, I forgot but I think you can really see it in here on this picture and I'm just so shocked when I see that mm, overall I didn't say that it's all only because of the squat challenge because of the squat you do every day but it's also because of the nutrition so as I say that I'm also repairing, managing the food intake so nutrition is really important I knew how much sugar level I need to take in a day so I didn't really eat that too much especially before I go to bed I also make sure that I eat enough protein to my body even it's just from the plant sources and I know that from the apps that I'm using every day so now I know how it all works I just want to make sure I fulfill my body with the right nutrition so overall I just want to say that workout and nutrition are best friend you cannot just work out not feeding yourself with the good nutrition or just nutrition no workout both of them are best friends so yeah they're connected to each other so yeah in the end of this video I would say mm. it's quite challenge recommend to you if you want to really see the result on how it goes to your body because everybody are different maybe this is how it looks like on me but maybe on you are different because I also see some videos saying that they did that for 30 days and they don't see so much changes they just feel so tired some saying oh they see an amazing result it's really depends this is what happened on my side on me because I just experienced this I just tried on my body and this is what I felt overall I feel good I felt there's no problem with that but in the future I didn't feel like I want to do what every single day uh, you still need to you know uh, combine that with other workout not only squat again your your muscle need to rest so yeah I'm done with this squat challenge but I'm I'm happy with the result um, I didn't even see some excess fat on my lower belly so it was great and it was such a great experience overall uh, if you try this and maybe you don't see much changes or anything I want to remind you that it's not about the changes in your body it's just a bonus it's all gonna train you to be more disciplined more consistent and that's what are really important it will shape you on a better person you know so yeah I think it's not only the result of the physical appearance but also mentally you become more strong like you become more consistent more disciplined always in your mind to finish what you already started so that's it the video for the everyday squat challenge from now on i will make challenge every month so that's the challenge for january for february i did 10,000 steps challenge and so you're more than welcome to join me if you want another thing before i finish this video uh, during this challenge there is some other people who also follow me and join me for the challenge there's uh, some people they tag me on instagram and, and some of them just send dm because they are not really comfortable to post on their Instagram and that's totally okay I'm so so grateful for you all who already joined me for the squat challenge however they are not really finished it until the finish like they only join for one week some of them join for two weeks some of them join for one two three days and that's it but whatever it is I really appreciate you guys for uh, joining me uh, it means a lot it means that you're interested and I really appreciate that even you're not finishing that it doesn't matter I really appreciate your interest and you are in to join me for some other challenge and you're more than welcome to join the 10,000 steps challenge on February that's it the video for today I hope you guys like it if yes don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave some comment down below and today I've also got my health and fitness lifestyle I'll see you again on the next week bye guys